Scenic New Jersey portion of the Palisades Parkway stretches 11 miles north and south along the Hudson River. It is policed by 28 officers. The Palisades Interstate Parkway Police Chief Michael Coppola now suspended for three months without pay after an investigation by the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, which supervises the Parkway Police. I ride it all the time, and I constantly see people being pulled over. It's like pretty heavy duty. A report released today shows a police department gone rogue. The prosecutor's office says Chief Coppola awarded officers who wrote the most tickets or made the most arrests with a $200 meal allowance. Wow, that's, that's crazy to hear. I don't believe in rewarding policemen for uh, looking for additional revenue streams. The investigation showed Parkway police illegally chased people in excess of 130 miles per hour on the 50 mile per hour road and used the internet to lure drug dealers to the area to make arrests. Residents I spoke with who live in the area did not like hearing about criminals being attracted to their neighborhoods. Not good, you know, not good at all because I have actually teenage sons and, you know, family, so th don't really like to hear that. In one case, the prosecutor reports a suspect ran away and fell off a cliff, dying in police custody. A detail never reported to the county prosecutor's office. I feel like the police, um, you know, very often and just use the uh, privilege to take advantage of people. Based on this report, the entire department was retrained by the prosecutor's office on policies regarding pursuits, use of force, biased crimes, and racially influenced policing. On the Palisades Parkway, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. Acting Bergen County Prosecutor Dennis Callow asked the Park Commission to send the chief to police management training when he returns to duty. There is no comment from the Parkway Police Chief.